Plex is a media streaming software that you can run privately at home to share your personal library of videos, photos, and more. Plex stores, organizes, and streams your content to PCs, smart TVs, and mobile devices. And from TrueNAS Core, you can run your very own Plex server right from your own hardware that already stores and protects your personal data. This tutorial will take you through installing Plex on TrueNAS Core start to finish. Let's get to it. First things first, let's get a few assumptions out of the way. This tutorial assumes you already have TrueNAS Core installed and working, and that you've created at least one pool. Head over to your TrueNAS Core's web UI and log in with your username and password. We have a few stops to make along the way to prepare for the installation of the Plex plugin. Let's head over to our storage on the left and then pools. Our TrueNAS Core install has a single pool without any datasets defined, so we'll be creating a dataset to hold our media. If you have existing media already on your TrueNAS Core, you can add it to Plex by following the steps later in this video. But because this is a fresh setup, let's create a dedicated dataset just for our Plex media. Head over to the three dot ellipses on the right of our pool. Click and select Add Dataset. We'll be calling this dataset Plex Media, but you can use any name you'd like. We'll leave the defaults and click Submit below. Once your dataset is completed, you can begin building out your directories and data inside of it for your media. We won't be going over this in the tutorial because everybody's data organization is different, but for the sake of simplicity, we've created a movies, TV, music, and photos directory in our new dataset to prepare for the Plex install. Now let's get the Plex plugin installed. Head over to plugins on the left. If this is the first time you've created plugins on your TrueNAS Core, you'll be asked to choose a pool for your plugins in jail storage. We'll select our pool and click Choose. The process completes quickly. IX Systems has an officially maintained plugin of Plex that we can quickly install. Locate the Plex Media Server plugin in the list and click the Install button on the right. The setup for Plex is very simple. We need to give our Plex plugin a name. We'll call ours Plex, but you can use any name you'd like for the jail name. We'll be leaving the default settings on DHCP and clicking Save to kick off the installation. The installation will take a bit to complete as TrueNAS pulls down the plugin data and installs it, so be patient and let it complete. Once the install is completed, you'll be greeted with a quick summary of the install. We're not done here. We have one more quick stop to make before we head over to Plex, so click Close. Now we can see our Plex plugin listed below, its status, the URL to access Plex, and that it starts on boot. We need to add our previously created dataset to Plex, so let's do that now. On the right, click the arrow to expand the details for our Plex plugin. To add our mount points for our dataset, we'll need to shut down the Plex jail, so locate the stop button and press it. Once the jail has shut down, click the mount points button next to it. As we can see, we have no mount points defined for our Plex jail, so we need to create one. Mount points allow you to provide access to data that exists outside of the plugin's jailed file systems. If you already have datasets that contain your media in your TrueNAS core, this would be where you'd configure them to be accessible to Plex. Head over to the Actions button on the top right and click Add. In the top window, we need to select our source location. This is where you choose a directory within your pool that has your media. Remember that Plex media dataset we created? Here's where we'll use it. In the source window, we'll expand the slash MNT folder, the Pool 1 folder, and select the Plex Media folder. Within the Destination folder, we see the file system within our Plex jail. The plugin has a predefined folder called Media that we'll be mounting our Plex Media dataset into. Select the Media folder and click Submit. Now we see our configured mount listed and ready in the window. Head back over to the left and select Plugins again, and let's start our Plex plugin now with our mount defined. Click the arrow on the right of the Plex jail in the list, head to the Start button, and start Plex. Once Plex has started successfully, we'll head over to the Plex website and continue our configuration from there. The URL to connect to your new Plex server is listed under the Admin Portals column of our plugin. Go ahead and highlight it and copy that URL. Open up a new tab or browser window and head over to the URL you copied from the last step. You should be greeted with your new Plex server's login page. Plex logins are maintained by the Plex company, so if this is your first time using Plex, you'll need to head over to Plex.tv and create an account. Accounts are completely free. We already have a Plex account that we'll be logging in with here, so we'll enter those details now and hit enter to log in. First login to Plex will be greeted with the How Plex Works page, giving you a quick overview of what Plex can do for you. Click Got It to move on. Next stop is the Plex Pass page. Plex is free to use, but offers a paid version called Plex Pass with enhanced features and more. You can find out more about what the paid version has to offer you by heading over to Plex's website at plex.tv and reading about it. We'll click the X in the top right corner to continue. All right, on to our server setup. 
we need to give our new Plex server a name. You can give your Plex server any name you'd like, and you can change it at a later date if you change your mind. We'll be calling ours Plex on TrueNAS. The checkbox below allows you to decide if you want your Plex server to be accessible outside your home network. This choice is completely up to you and is generally considered to be secure. So we'll leave it checked and click Next to continue. Now we need to define our libraries for our media in Plex. Plex breaks down your media into different library types. Media types include movies, TV, music, photos, and a few others. When you define a library of a certain type, for example, movies, Plex will scan the content of those libraries and attempt to match it with a public database to gain information about it. So if you have a movie in your movie folder, Plex will reach out to an online database like IMDB or similar and attempt to pull down movie posters, actors, and descriptions about your movie. Let's create our first library now. Click on Add Library and we'll define our first library. Our first library will be a movies library, so we'll select movies. You can name the library anything you want. We'll leave ours default as movies and click next to continue. Next stop is to define the folder on the file system where Plex will look for our movies. Clicking the browse for media button provides us a directory listing of our Plex plugin. If you remember back when we created the mount point to our pool, we used the folder named media that's located off the root partition. So we'll navigate over to the root directory on the left and select the media folder on the right. Inside the media folder, we have the directories we created earlier on when we created our Plex media dataset. We'll select Movies and click Add. And now we'll click the Add Library to complete the Add Library wizard. Now you can see our newly added Movies Library in the list and see the path on the file system. You'll repeat this step for every type of media you have. We'll quickly run through and create our TV library, our music library, and our photos library the same way. Once you've added all the libraries you want, click Next. Our last screen gives you an opportunity to learn more about Plex apps for your mobile devices, smart TVs, and more. We'll click Done and move on to our fresh new Plex home screen. Plex has a massive library of free to watch movies, TV, and more. Everything you see here is provided by Plex free to watch and is ad supported. On the left of the screen, we have our navigation menu where we can also see our four newly created libraries, movies, TV shows, music, and photos. We've placed a video in our movies library to give you an idea of what seeing your content looks like. So we'll head back up to movies where we can see our video available to watch. And with a simple click, we can start watching the video immediately. This is a great time to mention that we have tons of helpful documentation and resources to help you get the most out of Plex on TrueNAS. And our fantastic community is full of great people who are willing to help answer any questions you might have. We highly recommend you check out our docs, bookmark them, and join the community. Thanks for watching.